Guys, it's official. I have a problem. I have a major problem. I just bought another car. Some of you may know if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram. I think I made an announcement on Instagram. But um, yeah, say hi to Duramax. I have a major problem. It's like being addicted to shoes or purses or something. I am addicted to buying cars and bikes and just things with motors in general. <laughs> say hi to the Drift Pig. Not this thing, the BMW. Um, we're calling her the Drift Slut because this color is called Slate Blue or Slate Gray. And I thought it said slut at first, so we're calling her the Drift Slut because she's going to be the old beater, beater bag. Yeah, she has some problems, but they're not major. The motor runs good. So I just drove her all the way back from Fall River. Such a lovely area. Yeah, I'm going to be putting a drift brake in. I have to do exhaust manifolds because one of the cats I think is clogged on it. So I'm putting in new exhaust manifolds on. We're gonna be building a custom exhaust for it. I'm gonna do like an oil change and some basic maintenance. In this video, I'm um, just looking over the car, seeing what's wrong. We're doing an angle kit too. Yeah, I have never put these parts on before so this is gonna be a learning curve but I'm sure I will figure it out. I didn't realize that it was four-wheel drive and we obviously need two-wheel drive to the rear so I have to figure out a way to make this thing two-wheel drive but I'm pretty sure it's doable from the research I did before I paid the guy. Bought this Bought this beautiful beast for 1300 bucks, which isn't too bad. Been looking for a while and they don't go for much cheaper than that. If they do, they have a bunch of problems or they've been crashed, they're not in good shape. So, picked this thing up for 1300 bucks. Um, I'm pretty sure if I weld the plantar gears solid inside of the transfer case that it will put all the power to the rear. And then from there, I have to weld the diff and take the axles apart and you know put the, both ends inside of the wheel bearings and inside the transfer case just so nothing falls apart because the axles hold everything together they are structural on this car there's my construction <laughs> management coming out they're structural they're to the integrity of the car anyways um yeah so i'm just about to look underneath this thing see how it looks sorry it is really windy out here right now we're about to pull this thing and put it up on a lift for the first time. The kid told us that it's not lowered. I'm pretty sure this thing has lowering springs in it. Because if you look at it, is it just me or does it look lowered? It looks lowered. Look at the, look at the fender. It's definitely lowered. So not a bad thing. I mean, it's pretty sweet. It's already lowered. Yeah, let's get started. I'm like, is the thing lowered? He's like, no, I don't think so. Oh uh, no, it's definitely lowered. Look at the distance between yeah, the there's, top look at of the it. spring and here. Oh no, it's not lowered. Oh yeah, like, definitely not. The front they literally like point up. <laughs> oh my god. Do you see that? Yeah. They go like this. Yeah. Are you sure it's not lowered? No, oh yeah, not lowered at all. Old Portuguese look guy at, owned it. Look at the friggin' yeah, that should have said it right there. Look at the grass stuck in here. It's probably the oil pan leaking. No, it's the rear main. It's the rear BMW, main. BMWs leak everything. Just I know, they put diapers under them for a reason. Yeah, why? Nice. 
nice wet spot. Oh, you haven't seen nothing. What? You haven't seen nothing, man. I know. You're gonna go lefty. This is why I have to carry a tripod with me all the time. That was easy. Oh yeah. All right, I gotta get a drain bucket over here. What? Well, now it's rear wheel drive. <laughs> that was easy. I don't know, from what I was reading, it should work. I mean. This is hard doing this one handed. Let's try this again. This thing's fucking hot as fuck. It's got like... You really think the boaters knew? Look at that. Like, look at the fucking aluminum over here. That looks way too nice. No, it looks too new to be a 19 year old car. I wonder if the engine got replaced at one point. Could be. Yeah, it does. I mean, it, it looks like now. It does. I can't argue with you. I mean, it might, I guess. But I've never seen. I mean, the like, rear main seal is leaking pretty bad. Yeah, but I've never seen one of these that doesn't puke oil out of the freaking valve cover gaskets. And they're not puking oil. I don't know. I'd go go online and see if you can buy us a cheap set of headers for this thing. Okay. See Let's just like straight pipe it. See if you can get like a hundred dollars. I vote straight pipe. And just say fuck it. Plus these headers, these fucking exhaust manifolds, you see how those are? Yeah. They like come out like this and then have a pipe that goes down. Like that's not good for power either. <laughs> Don't forget to hit like and subscribe below if you haven't already. And uh, see you guys next episode.